Hello everyone, this is Tom again. I'm bringing you guys an update on what sort of people have been calling perks in Halo 4. So these are two different things actually. One is a tactical upgrade and the other is a support upgrade. I think they're technically called tactical packages and support upgrades. Um, but these are innate abilities that just sort of passively change the way that the game behaves for you. So for the tactical uh, packages, you can get shielding, which will give you faster shield regen, mobility that allows you to sprint infinitely instead of having stamina that wears down over time, uh, fast track, which will give you better XP regen, firepower, which just lets you carry two primary weapons instead of a primary and a secondary weapon uh, that you spawn with, right? Uh, gren Grenadier increases grenade carrying capacity. Resupply makes it so that you can pick up the grenades dropped by dead bodies, or, you know, that's been something that's been in Halo for a long time, is picking up other people's grenades. So I don't know whether you only get that if you have resupply, or if you just get more grenades off of dead bodies in addition to the grenades that they drop. Uh, Requisition, the next one, allows you to, uh, if you get an, if you get personal ordinance called down in Infinity Slayer, and you don't like what it's on there, you can just re-roll it, you can get a new randomly selected package. Uh, Wheelman makes it so that you have a more durable vehicle, and it also decreases how effective EMPs are against the vehicles that you're driving or vehicles that you're in. Not entirely sure which of those two it would be, whether you have to be driving it or whether you can just be a passenger or a gunner. Um, and then Armor Ability Efficiency reduces the cooldown time on your armor abilities. So those are the tactical packages. The support upgrades are ammo, which just increases how much ammo you can store on you. Pretty simple. Uh, dexterity speeds up your reload and weapon swapping. So that seems actually very powerful. Simply because you're going to be doing both of those things over the course of a normal Slayer game quite a lot. And doing them faster can actually be the difference between dying or living. Um, sensor, which just increases the range and sensitivity of your motion tracker, so people don't have to be moving as quickly for you to see them, and also you can see a bigger range. Uh, awareness makes it so that even if you're zoomed in with like a battle rifle or a sniper rifle, you can still see your radar. Maybe that'll be useful if you're actually able to keep an eye on both of those things really well. Uh, stability makes it so that when you're taking fire, your weapon is more steady. Explosives? alter the way the grenades behave for you, so you actually take less damage from other people's grenades, and the range of your grenades is increased, the damage range, not the throwing range. Um, Wetworks allows you to sprint quietly, and it also, when someone uses Promethean Vision, they see you only as an outline, as opposed to like a full person, and it also allows you to perform your assassinations more quickly, if you melee someone from behind, assassinations are still in, so... Arguably, people would just say, oh, well, I wish assassinations were just gone. That would be better than being able to do them more quickly. I wish I could just melee someone in the back of the head and they died instantly. But that is not the case in this game. Gunner increases how long you can fire a mounted weapon before it will overheat. And also, if you detach a turret and carry it around, it increases how fast you move around with that. And ordnance priority increases how quickly your personal ordnance call down in Infinity Slayer recharges. So, in terms of what I think is the strongest, probably, uh, I think on the tactical side, you could probably make a pretty good argument for um, shielding, because just simply getting away from fights and recharging your shields before re-entering a fight is really a big part about what good Halo play is about, not stringing the other fights so quickly that you can't recharge your shields. Um, under the support section, I think probably dexterity is, is what I could see myself rolling out. It speeds up your reload time, speeds up your weapon swapping. Again, you're going to have to do those things. Doing them faster is good. Not too much to that. And in terms of some combos that you could see, because you can equip, you know, a tactical package and a support upgrade, both. Um, so some combos that you might see would be, um, comboing together one of the, uh, grenade abilities on uh, the tactical side, so requisition where you can pick up more grenades, or um, grenadier so that you can carry more grenades. Sorry, that's not requisition. Resupply is what lets you pick up grenades from dead bodies. Uh, so that you get more grenades, and then making them better with explosives on the support side. 
Uh, you can also make a little ordinance combo by comboing together requisition, actual requisition, which allows you to re-roll your personal ordinance call down, and also having it charge faster from ordinance priority. That might be really powerful in uh, Infinity Slayer, depending on how important those call downs actually are. And you could also sprint infinitely and quietly and have fast assassinations. So I'm not sure whether that'll actually be good. If it works the way that Halo Reach's sprint does, where your weapon's down and you can't actually shoot while sprinting, and there's a bit of time to actually bring your weapon up, it's probably not going to be that good because sprinting's just not really that good. But we could see we could see something like Call of Duty Commando, where maybe maybe running around really fast and assassinating people a lot is just super good, way better than I'm expecting. Um, so that is another potential combo. I hope you guys liked this video. Please leave a like if you did, and get excited. Halo 4 is just around the corner.